So we're off to exercise. So but today I'll have to take the test strips, the blood tester, the pricker, and my book, I guess. Not that I necessarily need the book. I'll take it anyway, but I put all these things in my Star Wars. It's like a pencil case, but bigger. I don't know what you call it, bag. I put it all in there and take it with us. All right. So, more in the up the butt series. <laughs> Prep series or whatever. Well, I've had apple juice, I've done all the stuff. Sam's put all the stuff in the fridge for later when I go take all the preps to um, induce poop. And now we're trying to have as normal a day as possible. We're going off to shoot pump seekers. I'll have to keep on top of all the blood sugars and that while I do it. And maybe down some more sugar and make sure I don't uh, black out from a low. But yeah, we're off to do pump seekers at Caboolture Pool. Alrighty, so we went to the Caboolture Pool, but there's no parks, right? Now, these people are parking illegally, but every time I've seen anyone park illegally in Queensland, the police come along and book everybody. They know that they're just going to water aerobics, but the police don't care. Like, they, they, if you park anywhere around the uh, Beer Pool, even on football game day, you know, when the, the Bulldogs play, or whatever they call themselves, um, it's the Beer Bulldogs, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. If you park around the grass, around the pool and the, the the oval on those days, the cops come and book all 50 cars that are parked on the grass or whatever, you know, and have a field day. And get raised money for their Christmas party. <laughs> uh, that's what everyone says all the time anyway. Yeah, so we're off to Burpengary Pool where there's ample parking. But who knows, maybe a school carnival will mean we can't get into the lanes. We'll see. This is the nightmare of trying to get fit in this world with all the uncertainty. Okay, so Burpengary Pool, we came here. Well, look, we got a car park. Let's see how we go. If we can get a fucking gym and swim. Fuck this. So we better do a blood test because all I've had is sugar, you know, carbs. And I have had my medication today. So they said take the diabetes medicines tomorrow. I don't take them. So that's what you do. You prick your finger, squeeze the blood. That looks ready. Then you put it on that little line. All right, it doesn't take much blood, these new machines. The old ones used to. 11.2. So I'm quite, um, you know, high. So obviously I'm not between um, five and seven, so high. So I've got some sugar to burn, but you'd be shocked. I'll have to really watch my sugars in the gym because I've only had carbs uh, and no fat or protein. I could burn those up within a few sets and have a low. So we're going to have to stay on top of all this. <laughs> Yeah, I would say if I, I didn't take my fast-acting insulin today, if I'd had that, I reckon I'd be having a low right now. See, when you have fat and uh, protein, not only, how do I explain this, do they digest slower, they act as a blocker, especially fat. It coats the cells in the bloodstream so the sugar can't get in, and that's what insulin's used for. It's to get sugar from the blood. That's why it's like an excess of blood sugar. At 11.2, I've got too much sugar in my blood at, at the moment. And why that is, is because uh, the insulin's like something that opens the cell and gets the blood from the, the sugar from the blood into the cell. But the, it's, it, the, without it, uh, proper insulin, it's not going into the cell. Um, but when you have fat, it coats the cell and it makes it hard even if you've got insulin to get in. So, um, yeah, I've had no fat today. So my, my um, and the last time I had fat was last night at Domino's and that was at seven o'clock at night. So that's, you know, nine hours has come and gone. So there's no fat in my bloodstream at the moment coating the cells. So, um, I, and I haven't had fast acting insulin. Um, so this, what I'm saying is the sugar from my blood when we work out, it's going to go straight into the cells and be gone. And then I'll have a low. So I'm going to have to have some more sugar. Um, so I, I don't know if I've made sense. I think I have, right? Yeah, to put this in perspective, I've had no fat or protein today. All I've had is carbs. But you saw me in the previous video. I sat there and drank two litres of apple juice. Yet my blood sugar at the moment is only 11.2. So that's a very small spike. Even if I wasn't diabetic, that would be the sort of spike you might have. Now, the difference between the diabetic and non-diabetic person is how quickly that spike then comes back down. 
and um, because I'm going to go burn it now, it, it's going to come down, right? Um, so we've, we're going to have to watch lows all day and everything like that um, because, it, it, you know, uh, Sam got shocked yesterday because I, when he got told, I told him that, you know, when we talked about the fact that um, I'm going to have a fast from fat and protein today and all I can have is carbs, he goes, you better get yourself two or four litres of apple juice. I said, fucking like hell, we need to get 20 litres, man. I, and I'm going to be needing to drink them in two litre lots at a time. You'll be shocked because other, uh, that's even if I wasn't on any diabetes meds today, right? Um, so yeah, it's, it's very interesting. The, it, people think it's sugar that puts your blood sugar up like crazy. It's more fat and protein than does, uh, puts it up than sugar does because of that blocker thing I just talked about, like with the fat coating the cells and that. So yeah, uh, I've, I've gotten rid of my fast acting insulin this morning. I think I forgot to mention that a second ago. And I've just had a mix of slow and fast. And um, like I said, <laughs> I've had two liters apple juice. Most people think, oh my God, your sugar just got, but it hasn't. It's lower than it probably normal normally would be after breakfast. If I'd had some eggs, which is fat and protein and some toast with butter on it, more fat uh, mixed with carbs. But yeah, now I'm going to have to actually watch it's very interesting, isn't it, people? It doesn't, diabetes doesn't necessarily work the way, even when I say to doctors, oh, if I don't have fat and protein all day, I need to drink litres and litres of apple juice. And they'll turn around and go, oh, your blood sugar must go crazy. That's your GP. So, oh, and even the endocrinologist and all them, even them. And I'm like, y are you joking, right? Like, if you don't have fat and protein, you need to have a shit ton of carbs, otherwise you have a low. You know, so, and, and isn't it funny though, when you go for a procedure like I'm having now, that doctor, he's, he's actually said, make sure you don't have a low. So the GPs and the endocrinologist, which is the diabetes expert, the endocrine system, they don't know it, but the butt doctor does. So anyway, today I'll be drinking tons of apple juice. You'll see because I'll have to, or I'll have a low, especially after we exercise. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution and pump seekers rules after pump seekers blood sugar test. So we are starting after all the activity. So it was 11 point something I think before. Let's get the blood. I'm a good leader. They say at the hospital. Eleven point five. Hasn't moved. It's alright, alright, to the pool. The butt. Special. <laughs> Have you noticed with these videos after our swim and everything, I often just laugh and stuff like that. It's because it changes your whole um, endorphins and all that. It does. Dopamine, rah, rah, rah. lowers your cortisol. All right, let's see what this is doing because it was 11.5 at home, I think. It was 11.5 when we arrived. It was 11.5 after we did weights. We've done a 20 minute swim and had a shower on top of that now. Uh, 12. Yeah. So that fast acting insulin that I normally take, you, it does a lot. Mm. Now this is the difference between a diabetic and a non-diabetic people. If somebody had no fat or protein, woke up this morning, drank two liters of apple juice like I did, they'd get that small spike that I did. They'd go from, let's say they woke up at, at, at the level of eight blood sugar or six. They might go up to 13 even or 15 or whatever, but they'd come down after two hours. So that's been a couple of hours now and I've trained, and I've swum, and everything, yet it's still peaking. Mm. So that's why I'm diabetic, and that's why I need that insulin. Um, and, um, but, yeah, because also when you go and do weights and swim, sometimes your body makes its own sugars up as well. Because I'm really shocked, because that two litres of apple juice, we would have burnt the sugars and that. Well, number one, I've already digested it, because it's two hours ago, right? Yeah. What time is it now, Sammy? Uh, almost 10. It's almost 10, so I had that at, what, 6.30? 7 yeah. 30, Four hours, it's, it's, it was digested two hours ago and, and dealt with and out. Um, and then I've gone and burnt God knows how much sugar lifting weights and doing a swim. So this is kind of um, weird, but it's a good thing because I thought I was going to be suffering lows today. And to be honest right now, I just want water. I don't want any more apple juice. So mm. that's going to help me with all my um, up to butt <laughs> procedure uh, prep. So witty. Mm -hmm. <laughs>